The Parks and Recreation Department has created a plan that takes parks from being everyday places to places of everyday wonder. We call that plan the Five Waters Project. The Five Waters Project establishes West Des Moines as an outdoor recreation destination, offers innovative new ways to explore and discover nature, preserves land and protects wildlife for future generations, and enhances the ability of businesses to attract and retain employees of all ages. By now, you may be asking yourself, what are the Five Waters? They include Blue Heron Lake in Raccoon River Park, Jordan Creek, Sugar Creek, the pond on the Civic Campus, and the Raccoon River. West Des Moines is fortunate to have such great natural resources, and these five waters are what tie the Five Waters Project together. The project consists of five main elements. The Civic Campus Amphitheater will serve as a cultural center for West Des Moines, hosting a variety of performances and events. Just imagine sitting on the hill by City Hall overlooking the pond while listening to your favorite live music. The Raccoon River Park Boathouse will allow for exploration of Blue Heron Lake in new ways by offering bike and non-motorized boat rentals. And if you've always wanted to own a kayak but have no place to store it, you'll be in luck. Boat lockers will be available to rent. The Marathon Loop will connect several major parks and existing trails with a 26.2 mile trail loop for cycling, running, and exploring the city. Much of the Marathon Loop is located within greenways to enhance the trail experience while preserving parkland along our waterways. The Raccoon River Greenway is one of those projects that gets us really excited. It will preserve land along the Raccoon River for generations to come, improve water quality, and add even more access points to water trails. We may even throw in some urban camping or an adventure course. The Greenway wouldn't be complete without ways to cross over the Raccoon River. A 600-foot long pedestrian bridge will connect Raccoon River Park on the north to Walnut Woods State Park on the south. A second pedestrian bridge will cross the river just east of I-35, making it apparent to any interstate traveler that West Des Moines takes our trails seriously. On March 5, 2019, West Des Moines voters living in Polk County voted to approve a one-cent local option sales and services tax. With your help, we're not just dreaming, we're doing. We are excited to keep planning, designing, and building the Five Waters Project. For more information on the Five Waters Project, visit the city's website at www.wdm.iowa.gov. We look forward to making the everyday wonderful in West Des Moines.